Tourists have been making their way to Cumberland Falls for nearly 200 years. But before the state built nice trails and overlooks, it took a lot of pioneering spirit to make it through the wilderness to see the so-called Niagara of the South. Now, just five miles away, you can feel like a pioneer again by booking an overnight stay in a covered wagon. So there's the whole concept of glamping, um, which is glamorous camping, and this is definitely glamorous camping. The owners of Chateau Trace Adventures Resort first heard about covered wagon lodging at a conference for campground operators. They're actually pretty popular out west, but there really isn't anybody that's doing it east of the Mississippi. They decided to order three wagons, hitching their hopes on the hunch they'd be popular in Kentucky. They actually came in over the winter. They were shipped in from Utah, actually, and uh, brought in by tractor trailer. And we have some local Mennonite um, carpenters who did the inside of them. Um, so they did a really nice job. Inside, things are kind of over the top, not what pioneers experienced. You can kick off your boots in a king-sized bed. And we have another twin-sized bed that is here. The wagon sleeps six in air-conditioned comfort in the summer with electric heat for the winter. There's a small microwave and a fridge, free Wi-Fi, and a place to charge your phones. You do have to hit the trail to find restrooms and showers, but it's a short journey. Even though the wagons are nice inside, many guests become settlers outside. Visitors are encouraged to sit around the campfire, make s'mores, and sing songs. The fact that there's no TV here has been a draw for many families. I had a family that was in, and the mom came over. She's like, do you have cards? And I was like, yes, we have cards. She's like, my girls don't think that they should be on the phone. They think that we should play family games. The wagons aren't the only things that are covered, so are the reservation books. Housekeepers have to turn the rooms quickly. When we set up the wagon circle, we did set it up for six, so we have three right now. I'm going to kind of see how it goes, so if this response continues, then I think there's a very good possibility we may end up with three more. Even though the wagons are stationary, they have a lot of pool in a place that has attracted tourists for decades. From Corbin, it's a westward expansion. Marvin Bartlett with the Spirit of the Bluegrass.